Tomorrow, no, I won't give it a break. Don't need to beg, steal, or borrow. Watch me as I walk this way. I'm busy building an empire. Don't really care what they say. I'm only here for a good time. Drown them out like namaste. Not over, not to take control. All my visions are set in stone. Don't kill my fire. I'm flawless by design. Can't change my mind. Got too much on the line. Oh, it's my time. You better. Taking what I came here for Flow like water, don't fit the mold Nothing stopping this heart of gold Don't kill my fire, I'm flawless by design Can't change my mind, got too much on the line Oh, it's my time, you better Are you kidding me? What? After all this time, you're still obsessing over the music video? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I heard the song playing, Avery. Okay, maybe I was looking at it to see how no one even watched it. In the comments, that's a whole different story. Stop! And besides, why were you outside my door spying on me? I was just coming into our room. Ugh, don't remind me. Don't you think it's time to move on? It's been like forever ago. It still makes me so... Stop obsessing. Besides, you know the twins are pretty cool. I swear, Em, you are acting more like mom every day. Maybe so, but at least my idol isn't Paula Abdul. <gasps> Did somebody say Paula Abdul? No, mother. Oh, well, you two are gonna be straight up late to your own rodeo. Back to school. Daddy's waiting. I gotta get going. See you later. Maybe. No latte with soy, no whip at 175 degrees. It's full, girls. <laughs> <laughs> you said spill. <laughs> Desperate much, Nikki? She meant she wants to know who you are and why you're here. Oh, LOL. By the way, we don't talk like that. Like what? Like, LOL. Hey, ladies. How was your spring break? I was just saying to Nick Nick how great it is to be back to school together. Sorry I didn't call you over break. Looks like you were busy. Yeah, we got to be really good friends. See you in Mr. Bloom's class, Charlie. Why do I still let her get to me? You? If you remember, Nikki was on my team, Mia. Yeah. I mean, our team. Ladies, you're good. It's good. No team's needed. Now, me and Mia have something we forgot to tell you. Didn't we, Mia? It's nothing. Not right now, anyway. Wait, what? What's going on? You know, we better get to class. Wait! I know what it is. You guys got us tickets to see Shawn Mendes in concert? Ah! I love you guys. Uh, no. It's official. I mean, we're official. Me and Chia. <laughs> Chia, <laughs> that, that's a good one. <laughs> Wait, you guys are serious? You shipped yourselves? Like, for real? For real. Wait, what? 
when did this, when you were busy dancing all spring break? We were hanging out all the time. And realized how much we liked each other. <laughs> but you guys have known each other forever. Like fam. Exactly. The basis for the perfect relationship. And Alex? Please. That was so last year. And more his thing, not mine. Okay then, let's get to class. Chia. Okay, okay, settle down, settle down, settle down. We have a lot to go over in the final weeks of school. So, you all know that I'm all about the drama, which brings us to our big unveiling. Now, we touched on it a bit, but I thought it was time to really dive in. So, drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, are you ready, Audrey? Hi, Mr. Oliver. Okay, pull the fur. I want to be the ass. <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry, Lysander, the donkey. Personally, I saw you more as Puck. That is spot on, Audrey. Why, thank you, Mr. Oliver. Yes, Avery. This is very cute and all, but can we get to the point? Oh, and if this is a play, I nominate myself to be the lead role. Here we go again. Oh, no, you don't. All right, ladies, that's enough. Don't kill each other. Just chill out and let me explain how this is actually going to work. Yes, Doug? Is this a play or something? Oh, man. Whoa. Are you serious, dude? Do I look serious? If I may, Mr. Oliver. Please. Uh, wow. Yes, go, Audrey. <laughs> this poster signifies one of the most popular plays written by William Shakespeare, A Midsummer Night's Dream a comedy that portrays the events surrounding the marriage of Theseus to Hippolyta, the former queen of the Amazons. Done. I'm the queen. That's my role. Personally, I can totally see you as the queen. I'm glad someone's listening. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Audrey, thank you. As I was saying, there's a few interwoven plots. The four lovers that flee into the woods. There's also the impending marriage. As Audrey mentioned, the fight between Helena and Hermia. The play within the play. Fairies, magic potions. Enchanted lovers. And a mysterious guy named Puck who turns the bottom into the ass you see right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the ass on the poster. Of uh, course. Uh, 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 what is happening? Sit down. <laughs> As you heard, there are many roles in Midsummer Night's Dream and lots of opportunities for you to show your acting chops. So rather than do the whole play, I thought it would be fun to just do select scenes for the end of the year showcase. Uh, I nominate Avery and Cassidy to play Helena and Hermia. I think people would actually pay to see them fight. I'm down with that. Aren't you the funny one, Alex? I think you should be bottom. It's certainly appropriate for you. Hey, guys, um, how about we let Mr. Oliver keep talking, okay? Thank you, Mackie. You're welcome. So, your first assignment for the final quarter of the school year is to read it, study it, know it inside and out. Here, take a handful, you keep those. Everybody else gets one, Doug gets 12, okay? OMG, you do not want to miss lunch today. There's a big announcement that's like crazy exciting. Okay, students, back to class. We're shoo, out. Shoo, 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 shoo. Ruby, you've got to control your excitement. You almost gave it away. I'm sorry. Nothing like this has ever happened to BPA before. I'm just so excited. Well, it will be life-changing for a few of these little monsters. Margaret, I am shocked. Why? The fact that you'd call them anything but students. Oh, please, I could have called them a lot worse. <laughs> you know these kids better than I. You know, little artsy-fartsy kids like you. It hasn't been that many years since you were on that side. That side? Mm-hmm. A little monster. <laughs> oh. Oh. You gotta use this area. You gotta pull from here to make the belt work for you. Like this. Do it for love. 
I didn't know this was musical theater, Mr. Bloom. <laughs> we'll fight for the people. We'll tear down the walls. We'll do it for freedom. We'll do it for love. Climb every mountain through the night march on. Rain or shine, day or night, we'll march on. So brothers and sisters, ah, time has arrived. It's now or never. By the river, united together. together. For the sunrise, we'll do it for love. Come with me and take a stand. We will rise above. Come with me and just, just take, take my hand. We'll do it. <laughs> something big, something big is about to go down at UPA. Big? Like what? How big? Oh, please, Polly, stop being so theatrical. Better yet, you should transfer to acting class and put those dramatics to perfect use. Speaking of VPA, you should transfer to acting class. I think you'd really like it, Mia. You know, that's not really my thing. Seriously, it's kind of fun. Yeah, and our teacher is... Is also pretty cool. Yeah, that too. But he's just so... Dramatic. I think she's thinking something else. <laughs> you know what? Now that you mentioned it, I just might take you up on that offer. All right, thanks, bro. Hey, sorry, Mr. Bloom. I gotta head to the office. It's lunch, Adam. Come on. Earth to Emily. Hello? What? I said let's go. Don't tell us you're still dreaming about that new kid. What new kid? Seriously, it's so obvious. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. I was just... As I was saying, Still dreaming about that new kid, Em? And as I was saying, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh-huh. Well then, I guess we're still going to the dance without dates, right? Yeah, duh, of course. Are you Dude! Sorry, I gotta get to the principal's office. Office temporarily closed. Important announcement today during lunch, exclamation point, noon. Be there or be square. That must be what they were talking about this morning. What in the heck happened with Polly? Mackie happened. What are you talking about, dude? Stupid me put the idea in us up. What idea? Acting class. No, I'm totally confused. So it's obvious that Polly had a thing for Mackie, and I told him he should transfer into acting class because he's so dramatic, and he ran with it. Literally. So let me get this straight. You think Polly wants to be in the acting class because of Mackie? There's my analytical girl. Oh, wow, I get it now too. It's pretty dumb of me. Dude, she's not gonna know unless you tell her. I've already lost two books. Yeah. Stop, you know I love you two together. Mackie, we were just talking about you. I mean about acting class, so like not really anything about you in particular. Yeah, what about it? No, nothing really, it's just I might transfer in. Really? That'd be so cool. Actually, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna go up to the office right now and try to make that happen. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Adios. <laughs> Attention students! We will be starting in about five minutes. Principal Rogers has a very important announcement that's going to affect everyone here at Valley Performing Arts. <laughs>
What are you doing? I need to talk to Ruby. Hey, get in line. I was here first. Where is she? Inside. I think. Okay, I'll catch her at the big announcement. Gotta grab lunch with Mackie and Chia. You say Chia? Charlie and Mia? Pretty cool for them. Later, dude. I don't know why everyone is so freaked out by this announcement. I mean, what if it's bad? Like what, Nikki? I don't know. I don't know either, but I guess it's gotta be big. Principal Rogers never does a lunchtime announcement. Never. Maybe they're shutting down the school or something. They're closing the school? <gasps> Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to the final quarter of the year here at VPA. As you all know, we have our annual spring fling coming up next month, which will be a tribute to the 80s and all that made it bad to the bone, <laughs> which is really good. There's already flyers posted around the school with all the details, and of course, we will be contacting your parents to help chaperone you little monsters. <laughs> I mean students, of course. <laughs> And finally, I have some news to share with all of you. Life-changing news for all of us. This is by far the most exciting thing to ever happen at Valley Performing Arts, so listen up. Our little school has been handpicked by Triad Conservatory of Fine Arts, which will award three all-expense-paid, full scholarships to their immersive summer program this summer in New York City. One student will be selected from dance, one from singing, and one from acting. These three superstars will spend two full weeks learning from the best at Triad. Here's how it's going to work. During our end of the year showcase, headmistress of Triad, Miss Julia Hughes, will be sitting in to watch all of the performances. She will also be given the 411 about your academics for the year at VPA. Based on that and your performance, she will award the scholarships at the end of the showcase. The complete rules will be emailed to each of you and your parents, but keep in mind that you will be judged solely on your performance. And each student can only win one scholarship, so make the most of your time and effort. That's all for now. This is your principal, Margaret Rogers, signing off. And we're clear. <laughs> These little monsters don't know how good they have it. Oh. <laughs> and all expense paid scholarship in New York City. I mean, come on, I never got an opportunity like that ever. I mean, I, I, I not, when I was their age, I, I was lucky to get a dollar just to go to the movies on a Friday night. The most elite performing arts conservatory in the whole world. They should thank their lucky son. And that concludes the very important announcement. <laughs> Eat now, or whatever. I tried to call you earlier. You won't believe what happened at school today. It's pretty spectacular, Mrs. Castillo. We're in total shock over it. It's a dream come true for any performing artist. Okay, guys, is anyone actually gonna tell me what's going on? We're, We're committing for a scholarship to Triad. It's, it's a twin thing. thing. Triad, another contest. I'm not sure my nerves can take it. <laughs> it's completely different. And a lot more meaningful. They're giving away three scholarships for their two week summer intensive in New York City. It's judged on our performance in the showcase and our academics throughout the year. Well, based on that, you two have it in the bag. Oh, no offense, boys. None taken, Mrs. Castillo. We know the competition's gonna be tough. So between that and the spring fling coming up, it's gonna be a busy couple of months. Luckily, all of our rehearsals will be right at school. Well, that's good news. You know, I never realized how much I depended on Mandy until she up and transferred to NYU. Well, just think of it. If, when, we win. All three of your girls will be up in New York City at the same time. Well, hey there, Avery. 
Seriously, what's your problem? I don't have a problem at all. In fact, I'm perfectly happy with my life. Unlike some people I know. <laughs> Excuse me? If you have something to say, you better say it to my face. Question, how come you go around this place thinking you're all that? Acting like you're some kind of queen or something? That was a joke in acting class, jeez. Everyone knows exactly who you are, Avery. A spoiled brat who for whatever reason thinks she's the best at everything. I bet those little minions you call your friends can't even stand being around you. They just feel sorry for you. I'm not a spoiled brat. Take a closer look in the mirror. Maybe you'll find yourself. gotten into Cassidy, but she clearly has it out for you. It's probably just jealous. I don't know, not this again. <laughs> Considering the fact that I'm not with Alex anymore, I'm not at Elite Dance, there's really not much to be jealous of at this point in my life. Are you kidding me? You're one of the best dancers I know, and an amazing singer and actor. If anyone deserved to win all those triad scholarships, it's you. I'd better go. Too soon. Girl, I wish you didn't forget your top shoes. That was almost perfect. <laughs> almost isn't gonna win you a scholarship. I don't need any dance pointers. Thanks. That's not a pointer. That's a fact. The only fact is you need to learn to mind your own business. I just hate to see you waste your time. All this talent in the room, and you. Rude. Ladies, ladies, there's plenty of room in this dance world for everyone here. Let's not bicker over some silly summer scholarship to triad. Honestly, it's not the end all be all. But didn't you go to triad, Frankie? Exactly my point. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a great school, but learning the skills that you need as a professional are far more practical than you'll get out of a two-week summer program. Besides, you have me. Who needs a fancy scholarship? I don't know about you guys, but I'm going for it. I need that scholarship. <laughs> Good luck with that. Thanks. She seriously has it out for both of you. Both of us? You and Avery. I'm so confused. Mackie and I kind of caught a truce. At least when it comes to Cassidy. When did all this happen? Well, she's pretty much been a royal biatch to me the whole year, so. I don't mean when did all this happen to Avery. I mean, when did you two become friends? About 10 minutes ago, and more like frenemies. Cassidy was picking on her in the restroom and I kind of felt sorry for her. Seriously? I don't know, something's going on. Maybe she's finally over her brattiness. If you say so. Logan, Avery, you guys are up next.
Okay, so what are we hungry for tonight? I need to ask the server about vegan options. Why are they always around when you don't want them, and when you do want them, they're never here? Well, Pumpkin, I am sorry that I haven't been around, but if there is one, I mean, maybe the silver lining is that I am able to be here, given our current situation. Dad, not you, our server. Oh, yeah, yeah, server. Da. You know, Avery, why don't you try something new and not go vegan tonight? You know, eat some meat, mm. maybe some cheese, <laughs> put some beef on your bones. That isn't funny, Dad. Being vegan isn't a part-time thing. I take it very seriously. Okay. You take everything seriously. They have a lot of salads. I need protein. Um, they should really have better options. This is ridiculous. Hey, baby, you know our little rule about cell phones at the table, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. Oh, there it is. Twenty dollars off if you spend forty. Boom. <laughs> Great. So now you're a coupon clipper too, huh? What has happened to our lives? We all have to pitch in, Avery. Okay. You guys just order whatever y'all like. I'm gonna go to the ladies' room and um, just keep it under fifty dollars, okay? Evening, folks. Good evening. About time. Do you serve vegans here? Uh. Of, <clears throat> of course. I, how, how would you like those cooked? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. I know you. How... Oh, I, I've, I've just got one of those, you know, faces. No, I know you know you. You do seem familiar I... to me as well. Well, yeah. I have been on television for about 25 years. Well, I don't know you as some washed-up actor. It's something else. <gasps> Steven Miller! <laughs> Oh, you remember my daughter, Avery? She's the dancer who lost the video contest you hosted. <laughs> oh, this is my other daughter, Emily. Thanks for the reminder, Mom. And this is my husband, Michael. Hi, Stephen Miller. Nice to see you again, man. <laughs> so, hosting gigs all washed up now, too, huh? Actually, I'm uh, researching a, a new role. Oh, meaning no work. That's about enough, Avery. It's okay. I know, I probably just brought back memories of when she lost the music video contest. Sorry. Okay, why don't we order some spaghetti with marinara on the side. Oh, oh and a salad with the dressing on the side. And also a side of meatballs. <laughs> and I think that should do it. And more bread, please. Uh, anything to drink? I'll take it. Yeah, we'll just have water shaker. Got it. <laughs> All right. I will be right back. Thank you. Uh, with, uh, with more bread and uh, your sugar water. Uh, wow. What a loser working at a restaurant now. Well, Avery, you know what? He uh, is at least working, isn't he? Oh, honey. You will be, uh, too. I just know it. See, what you're not gonna do is come up, shut up with your bootleg Shawn Mendes looking behind if you don't take yourself up out of this guy's room right now. This ain't your gag. This Excuse is my me. Poly show. Who are you and what are you doing? I'm James and this is Polly. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. I can introduce myself. Thank you very much. Polly Puckett. Uh, she means what characters, guys? Exactly. You're disrupting our mojo. Hey, easy. I'm just trying to get my scene, okay? I'm paired up with Mackie. Uh, I don't think so, dude. What character are you supposed to be again? The one that's paired up with Mackie, I... I'm not finding either of these guys on this list. We just transferred in. This is a bit of a quandary, but to be honest, I think we can make this work to our advantage. We still haven't assigned the roles of Lysander and Demetrius. And with Mackie already rehearsing to portray Hermia, I think that Done. we could... Your lucky day, guys. We're going to be pairing you with Mackie and Avery, Hermia and Helena, and the four of you are going to play our star-crossed lovers. All right, sounds good. Like I said, I'm paired up with Mackie. You can have Avery. If either of you had taken the time to learn about Midsummer, you know the story and realize that both your characters fall in love with Hermia. So at this point, who plays Lysander and who plays Demetrius is irrelevant. Life imitating art. So who does Mackie end up with? I mean, Hermie? Uh -huh. Here's an idea. You could just read the story and check it out yourself. That's crazy, right? So thank you. Got me. <sighs> Thanks for clearing that up. Oh, yeah. They just needed some motivation. Now they'll actually read the entire play. <laughs> Very clever. Uh, one step ahead of your students. You'll learn that someday. That is, if you still want to be a teacher. 
Oh, yes, and this is the best training ever. Thanks for letting me help out. Of course, but don't forget to study your Titania monologue, Audrey, okay? You are still a student, and we need to hear from the queen of the fairies at the showcase. You got it, Mr. Oliver. Excuse me? I don't think you assigned rules to us either. What are your names again? I'm Macy. And I'm Lacey. Cute. Uh, for this, you'll be mustard seed and cobweb. Ew, gross. Ugh. They're fairies. Great! So have you contacted the parents for the chaperones? Check, yes, I have eight adults plus our teachers, so we should be good. Okay, well, I don't want any hanky-panky happening. No hanky-panky, check. How are we looking for 80s party decorations? Oh, I found this amazing website called Shindigs. They have some pretty rad 80s stuff. Everything that we need should be here by Friday. Rad, Ruby. What, I'm just practicing my 80s lingo for the big night. Which is just a little over a week away. Stay focused, dear. Oh my gosh, a week, okay. Uh, yes ma'am, what else? How about an 80s costume contest? Ooh, that could be fun. Snacks. Oh, yes, I um, I have a candy table plus cupcakes. I'm not sure about drinks, though. Okay, no punch bowls. Those little monsters would be up to no good with punch bowls. <laughs> no duh. More 80s lingo. Mm -hmm. Gag me with a spoon. Oh, don't have a cow. I can be bad to the bone like you. Do that. <laughs> As if. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cassidy, I don't have an answer for you. Everyone's partnered up. It's not my fault my partner up and moved to Fresno. Fresno? Gross. Well, I'm so sorry that you were grossed out by Fresno. I'm sure he didn't mean it, considering that he had a family emergency. Just go be a trio with those guys. Oh no, find another student that needs science. Where's your other half, Mia? English class. Why? Look, Cassidy, I know that you don't like I need another partner, that's why. Like she'd ever want to be your partner. Speak up, what? I said she would never want to be your partner. Your sister has a problem with me too? Seems to be an epidemic. Okay, 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 all right, listen. Cassidy, go and be partners with Mia and Doug. It's not the end of the world here. This is a life lesson. Think of it as a growing experience. You'll learn, you'll talk, and all, it'll, it'll all be fine in the end, okay? Doug, I am so sorry. If you need anything, just let me know. I knew I should have taken science last semester. Yes, Amber? Can I please go to use the ladies' room? Can't you do that after class? It's kind of personal. Well, I, I get it. You know, it's really terrible when school gets in the way of kind of personal things. Fine, go, 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 go. Just be quick about it because we're all patiently waiting for you. So, you're gonna love this. It's like, so good, really good. What's the tea, Amber? Oh, uh, Cassidy need a new science partner because hers moved to Fresno or something. Anyways, Mr. Richards put her with me and Doug even though they didn't want to. Like, they were seriously almost fighting with each other. And? And I thought you wanted to know. Like, Mia was standing up to her. She almost put her in her place. And? That's kinda it. <sighs> You're kinda reaching. Total failure, Amber. I mean, seriously. Maybe Cassidy lets to know how you're trying to cause trouble. Maybe we should tell her, Macy. <gasps> Maybe we should, Lacey. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Ugh. That's right, keep walking. You can sit here, if, if you want. What's everyone having for lunch? I'm starving. I have ham and cheese on rye, enough for the both of us. Ew, gross, I'm vegan. I have some veggies we can share. Thanks. 
I've lost my appetite. <sighs> Mia, what has gotten into you? Me? What about you? What are you talking about? I have some veggies we can share. You're upset about some carrots? It's more than that. Oh, sorry. The broccoli, too. It's not funny, Mac. I thought we were best friends. We are. So that's why you're all chummy with Avery all of a sudden? Well, maybe it's because my best friend has a new boyfriend, so she's never around anymore. Are you kidding me? It's the truth, Mia. So let me get this straight. You're hanging out with Avery because you're jealous of Charlie. First of all, I'm not hanging out with Avery, okay? I offered her some food. That's it, and she could use a friend. And I'm not jealous of Charlie. I'm happy you two are together. I like Chia. It's cool and cute. Cute and cool. That's it? Chia is cool and Avery needs a friend? Have you forgotten how she's treated us? That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. What do you want from me, Mia? I just want my sister back. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. I think I have some veggies we can share. <laughs> have you worked up the nerve to talk to him yet? No clue what you mean. The new kid, you know, Drew? I already told you, it's not a big deal. Then you wouldn't care that he's walking toward you right now? What? Yeah, I wouldn't turn your head around. He's literally right behind you and <laughs> drew peanut butter and jelly on your face. Not a big deal. Yeah, right. And it was all over some carrots. Deke? Her getting mad. Anna is so confused. Me too. <sighs> Anna is here for you, baby. Tell me everything. Me and Mia were arguing at school yesterday. Mackie, you two are like salt and pepper, or wine and cheese. Anna can't imagine you fighting. Well, we weren't really fighting. Things are just different. Like how? Like, like Mia has Charlie now, so we're not spending as much time together. And I think she's okay with it, but I can't tell. And she's mad at me, because I'm kind of friends with Avery now. Avery? Next door Avery? Uh, they moved, but yes, the one and only Avery. Anna thought she was your number one enemy. She was, but I feel bad for her. She's getting bullied at school, and I don't think things are great at home. Ay, Dios mío. Anna is so confused by all of this. Try being me. It sounds like you two are just growing up a bit, and each one of you is exploring life independently. I guess. Which Anna knows can be so hard. It's just confusing. I'm sad because things aren't the same with me and Mia. But you are, Maggie, deep down. When Anna was your age, my best friend was your papa. We were so close, just like you and Mia. Well, not twin close, but almost. Anna adored him. But when he met your mom and started spending more time with her than with me, well, I had to find my own way. But it didn't make me love him any less. Our lives just started to separate a bit because we were growing up. But we always knew we'd be there for each other, no matter what. Just like you and Mia, nothing will ever break that bond. Anna knows everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, now tell me what else is going on. Anna's been in Paris so long, I feel like I've missed everything. How is your mom? Why don't you ask yourself? <gasps> Hi, Anna. Camila, como estas, Beja? Good, really good. When are you coming home? Anna will be back next month, and I have so much to tell you. Well, the twins have their end of the year showcase in a few weeks. Hope you'll be back in time. June 4th at the very latest. Perfect. The showcase is June 7th. Well, 
Maybe I'll even be back on California time by then. <laughs> oh, okay. Anna loves you both so much. Gotta run. See you soon. Bye, Anna. We love you too. Thanks for the pep talk. You okay? I'm better now. Anna has a way of making everything seem okay. There's no one quite like her, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think the word is unique. <laughs> that he's never done anything else like this. Felt these feelings, these words, I can't say get this hurt. Bravo, bravo, bravo! Oh, young lady, that was magnificent. You sound like an angel. What an amazing song choice. Thanks, I wrote that one. Oh, you all better watch out. Summer is a star. I believe you have a shot at winning this scholarship. Really? Uh, absolutely. I bet my book on it. <laughs> all right, next. Said I fell in love with you. And so am I. No, you're not. It's my song, Check Mr. Bloom. I ain't got a well, check. No, you me even know what I did it with him. That's after I already talked to him about it. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, yes. Gentlemen, your rudeness has disrupted my class. And to be honest, that is grounds for being cut from the end of the year showcase. Oh, I don't want to hear it. But he just... Stop! One more word out of either of you. And you are both set out of the showcase. In fact, any more disruption from anyone in this room, and you will all sit out of the end of the year showcase. R E S P E C T. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you all understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Nay, who's next? A little piece of advice, save your squabbles for outside of the classroom. You're both pretty good singers and could win the scholarship. Of course, I'd have to drop out so you could win, but still, <laughs> toodles, boys. Oh. Said reminder to call Broadway. I'm ready to come back. One, two, pull, back, spot, double, turn. Lotion, a squeeze your knees. Good. That was really fantastic. I think you've got a good shot at this scholarship, Mackie. Really? I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Wow. Thanks, Frankie. You're up, Avery. Let's go over your counts. Ready? Five, six, seven. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's so good. Even better than before. So are you. Way better than before. Thanks. I've been practicing a lot. It really shows. I'm like my lame skills. You've been busy. And besides, there's still time left. The showcase is right around the corner, Mac. So get working. You've got more drive than anyone I know. You can do it. Nice work, Avery. Serious skill. Thanks. You did good, too. I have to agree, Avery. That was literally perfect. I can't think of one thing I would change. Except maybe her attitude. Excuse me? There's no excuse for you. Dude, chill. What's your problem? Aw, poor Avery has to have her enemies stand up for her. Again. Sorry to disappoint, but we're not enemies. And actually, it isn't poor Avery at all. I just don't have a care to respond to your pettiness. Nor should you have to, Avery. Be careful, Cassidy. Performing at the end of the year showcase is a privilege. Is that a threat? I learned a long time ago to never make a statement that I can't back up. So no, that's not a threat. That's a fact. <laughs> hey mom. I got the most amazing email from Anna Sophia and I had to tell you right away. We're all here, you're on speaker. Hi mom. Hey honey, okay real quick. Anna has a good friend who has this really cool vintage shop in Burbank. Long story short, she thought it would be fun for the two of you to go shopping there for the spring fling. They have lots of 80s dresses. And if you find something that works, Anna's gonna buy it for you. That's amazing. What about us guys too? I think it's a girl's date, sorry guys. 
Oh, and she said her friend will let you come in earlier before the store opens so you have it all to yourselves. I'll text Anna later. That's super sweet of her. Maybe we can go this weekend. Is it just us or can we bring friends too? It'd be a fun shopping day for the girls. That's what I was thinking too. Great, I'll invite everyone. I have to go girls, I'll see you tonight. All right, Camilla, we'll get you all set up in the system. Welcome to the team, Michael. Thank you, thank you. So good to see you, Michael. So good to see you too. I didn't know you worked here, this is crazy. It's been five years after Ricky died. It's been five years. How are you doing? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. I was sad to see you guys move. We were too. Avery, especially. She is not handling the downsizing very well. Oh, I'm sure. But things are looking up. You know, you can't go wrong with construction in Southern California. <laughs> Flipped a coin and here I am. And Robert and I are old golf buddies too, so. I think this is officially my midlife crisis career change. <laughs> Trust me, I understand. So what was your other choice? The, the flip of the coin. Oh, you're gonna laugh if I tell you. I would never. All right. <clears throat> Lounge singer. Lounge singer? Yeah. I, I took a few stabs at singing back in the day. But lounge singer. Well, you know, like the Dean Martin, the Rat Pack thing, you know. I'm, I'm a little too old to be the next Justin Bieber. I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, we all have our dreams. <laughs> Let me get some paperwork for you. Welcome to Skyline Construction. Hey, Mr. Richards, you got a minute? Depends. Is there something I can do for you? You know, I'm only here because I need an outsider's opinion. And you're, well, not to be rude, but pretty much as far outside as one can get without not really knowing me. Does that make sense? Sure. Great. Well, you know I have a twin sister named Mackie, right? She was in my class last semester, Mia. I, silly me. Anyway, she and I have always been super close. And I mean like, as close as you could possibly be without being the same person. You're twins. Yeah. So you already are close as you can possibly be without being the same person, scientifically speaking. Well, I mean, unless you were identical twins or, oh, even better, if you were clones, that would be closer, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, continue. Right, of course. I just, I don't know how to handle not being so close anymore. And you're like such a great listener, so here I am. What do you mean by not being so close anymore? I mean, like, I have Charlie, my boyfriend, and she seems to have distanced herself and is best friends with our old neighbor, Avery. We never liked her, I mean, like, at all. And your point, Mia? Like, how do I get her to be my best friend again? You guys do know that I'm the science teacher and not the school counselor, right? Right, but you give the best advice to all your students. You're like that Mr. Feeney for my generation. Mr. Feeney? Boy Meets World. Right, Boy Meets World. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay. Have a seat. Come on. Here is my hot take. Mackie's probably just feeling left out. But, but wait, wait a minute, just let me finish. You have Charlie as your new boyfriend, right? You guys spend a lot of time together. Who does she have? I guess no one. At least not yet. Exactly. You and Mackie are growing apart because you're developing new relationships. And that is perfectly normal. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a part of life. And as far as who she chooses as her friends, you gotta let Mackie figure that out for herself. Just like she didn't choose your boyfriend, you can't choose her friends. I guess I never thought of it like that. Look, at the end of the day, 
You guys are more than BFFs, your sisters, your family, and nothing can ever change that. Like it or not, you two are stuck with each other. You are bonded for life. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to grading papers and hope that at least some of you have retained some sort of science knowledge. Thanks, Mr. Richards. You're welcome. Everyone dressing up? I'm not sure I have any 80s clothes. What you see is what you get. Besides, who needs special clothes when you're as charming as me? Good one, Alex. You have a date? Not yet, but I have my eye on someone. Avery sucking you back into her web? Huh, dude, she's crazy. I'm good. I think crazy's kind of cute. I've got stories, dude. Stay far, far away. They have history, man. Yeah, summer break, a while back before you transferred to VPA. Maybe she's changed. A leopard can't change its spots, but hey, good luck. What do we think? I love it. It's stunning. Mm, so cute. You guys are too sweet. Does it really look good? The color is perfect on you. There's so many dresses here. I think I'll try this one on. Yes? No? Yes. <laughs> you made it. This girl never turns down a shopping invite. <laughs> what do you think? Super cute, but definitely not your color. Sorry. Mia, maybe you should try it. She's right. It'll totally look good with your hair. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, be right back. Mia's turn to model. I'm so sorry. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, which is your favorite? Oh, you know I don't play favorites. The candy? Oh, I was... <laughs> it's funny, I, I, I must have kids on the brain. I thought you were talking about the students. I can't imagine any of them being your favorites. You ready for tonight? Yeah, sure. Um, almost. Yeah. Uh, I'm. But I'm looking for Mr. Bloom. Oh, I think he's perfecting his wardrobe for the evening. Oh dear. Should I be worried? Places, everyone! It's officially time to go back to the '80s. Cue music. Here we go. Yeah. I thought Charlie was picking you up. I'm just meeting him there. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Mom, but it's not a costume party. But it's back to the 80s, right? Yes. Perfect. I went right back to the one and only material girl. Who? Seriously, Mia? You need to brush up on your pop culture. You look amazing, Madonna. <sighs> Thank you. You two look gorgeous. I love that color on you, Mia. See? Did I miss something? You're not the first person to tell her she looks amazing in that color. Aw, sisterly love. Not quite. Okay, well, let's get going. Come on. Started as a game of <sighs> This is so incredibly embarrassing. Can you go do your chaperone job? Please? Birth to mother? Uh, I am not your mother. Tonight, I am straight up all my ass do. <laughs> Lord help us. Hey, Paula, when's your date gonna get here? Oh, after work. Oh, you are gonna love his outfit, sugar. <laughs> Can hardly wait.
told you we're late. Everybody's already here. Fashionably late. Meaning right on time. Look, there are the guys. Come on, you. Have fun, Madonna. Thanks, girls. <laughs> Let me guess. Paula Abdul. Straight up. <laughs> and you must be Madonna. I live to tell. <laughs> hey, oh. I know who you are. Wait, it's not here. Flash oh, yes. <laughs> I'm so psyched to be here. Oh, me too. I was gonna say so, but Avery would die. She heard me talking like that. <laughs> Let's go show these kids how we do it. Totally. <laughs> Looks like Paula finally found her match. What are you talking about? Madonna over there. <laughs> it's cool our moms are hanging out tonight. Seriously? Aw, one big happy family. What does that mean? I can't anymore. Well, you gotta admit, her moms look really cute and Frankie looks amazing too. Let's get those moves from a cool daughter. Do you have a problem? Since you asked, yes. Me and I were just about to have a private conversation, so if you're done, the moose. The moose? Scram! Get out! What are you doing? Taking care of business. By locking me in a bathroom with you? By finally getting Ethan. Get out there, man. I tried, but you just cut right in front of me. Look at Alex. Even he didn't waste any time. Wait, why don't I know you? Are you friends with Avery? Yeah, like besties. That's why. Now get out there and cut him before slow song comes on. I got this, dude. Come on, let's go. What was all that about? That joker took my date. The girls came alone, dude. I don't think Mackie was your date. <laughs> no, no, whatever. Look, you know what I mean. But speaking of dates, it looks like you've been stood up. Never. Come on, here. I think that's enough. We're just getting started. Super sorry about that. I told you she's the worst. Who's what? Who'd you come to the dance with, Logan? Sister. Same. Where's yours? She's being stupid. She likes that guy that's hanging out by them, but doesn't know how to tell him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> Never happened to you, I suppose. What? Like someone and not really been able to tell them. Shall we? She loved to. You look like you're in a good mood. I think everything's finally gonna be okay. All right, well, it looks like everyone is enjoying our spring fling, and I see a lot of you all dressed up. In a little while, we'll have a costume contest for those of you who really went for it, adults included. <laughs> Back to the 80s. Uh, maybe it's time to put the clipboard down and show these kids what's up. We? Us. Come on. Kidding me? This is my last minute Magnum PI. What do you think? You like it? You like it? I like you too, Paula. You look good.
good. Yeah, it is. All four of us finally together. The Fab Four? Four. Uh... Sorry, guys. I'll be right back, Charlie. Aren't you too cute? Same. Thanks, BFF. Vicky? Oops, my bad. You know what? I'm just gonna go get some cupcakes. BRB. I'm allergic to peanuts. Uh, then I'll get red velvet. I don't eat fabric, Alex. Hold up. Whoa, that's scary. Definitely out there. <laughs> for the showcase next week? You ready to get beat? Never gonna happen. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. You're on. I really need to talk to you. Amber, now's not really a good time. It's important. Like before? No, 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 it's like really important. <sighs> Sorry, Logan, I'll be right back. What is it, Amber? I think Cassidy's planning something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Since you asked, what are you doing? Ah! Michael, get the car. All right, Emily, we're going. Emily. What was that all about? Avery dramatics, as usual. It seemed pretty serious, Mia. It looked pretty silly to me. What do you mean? Nothing. Guess I'm not the only one that likes to eat the frosting first. talking about? I mean, I'm sorry you thought it was okay to embarrass Avery like that. Excuse me? Mia, you know I was just joking. You planned it. It was your idea. You told me what to do. I think you must have misunderstood. Misunderstood? You gave me specific instructions. It was your flipping idea. Principal Rogers, this is clearly a big mistake. I merely suggested to Mia that I saw a joke like that with the cupcake done in a movie. She must have completely misunderstood my intentions. Are you serious? All right, that's enough. I can't remember when I have been this disappointed in any student's behavior. You two can sit out on the sidelines and watch your fellow students get a chance of a lifetime. That should be sufficient punishment. I'll be letting your parents know. What gives? Excuse me? 
You're like a nervous cat about to take a bath. You know this is huge. I know, but the kids are so deserving. And they're also talented. I know, I know. I just can't help. She's here. Listen. Ruby! Oh my gosh, Ruby! <laughs> this just took a turn. <clears throat> oh my gosh, where are my manners? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Julia Hughes, headmistress of Triad Conservatory of Fine Arts. This is Principal Rogers and my longtime friend, Ruby. Mm. And you two know each other how? Oh, Penelope and I were best friends throughout our days here at BPA. And uh, Principal Rogers was our principal, too. And why wasn't I made aware of this? I thought you knew. I hope this is not going to be a conflict of interest or a problem. No, no problem. I just don't like secrets. I'm sure I mentioned my alma mater. It's irrelevant at this point. We're here. And our kids are ready for you. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, we have some major talent here. I think you're gonna have some tough decisions. We'll see about that. I'd like to review their academic transcripts at this time. Oh, I, I, I have those. <laughs> I'd like some privacy to thoroughly examine them. I don't imagine that you've set aside a green room for us at this place, have you? Uh, uh y yes, yes, we, we have. <laughs> Follow me. I can't believe you had to leave like that. I know, I'm sorry. My grandma's really sick. Besides, I can't beat you. What are you talking about? You're so good. Stop, if you were here, you'd totally- Family first, Avery. Dance will always be there for me, and my grandma won't. You're pretty awesome, you know? What do you mean? I mean, I can't wait till you get back. And I'm gonna miss you today. And maybe miss you tomorrow, too. You're pretty awesome, too. I gotta get going. You're gonna do great. Good luck. You okay? Yeah. It's just weird, you know? I get that. I know what she did was wrong, but... Mia really is a good person. I don't know what happened. She said it was all Cassidy's idea and that she caught her in a weak moment. I can see that happening. I'm really sorry. Don't be. It wasn't you. She's here! They're here! The showcase starts in 15 minutes! Hey. Good luck, man. You too. Whatever happens. It's cool. Cool. Hey. Hey. You good? Yeah. Not really. Mia. Yeah. I just... I thought I knew her. But I guess not. I broke up with her. So... You're not sure now? Yeah. Just talk to her. We're kids, we all make mistakes. You're right. Thanks, man. Some of these grades are certainly less than desirable. They are artsy kids. But that does not dismiss their lack of academic focus. Even you know that, Penelope. Yes, ma'am. It's time! So exciting. Let's get this over with. Good afternoon, friends families and students. Welcome to the year-end showcase for Valley Performing Arts. Before we get started, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome our illustrious guest of honor from Triad Conservatory of Fine Arts, Ms. Julia Hughes. Ms. Hughes has already reviewed all of the students' academic records, so she knows who's actually trying at this school and those that are just here to expand their creative repertoire. So without further ado, let's find out who's going to win those scholarships and spend their summer in New York City. If this plan was just to leave me behind, ignore my words, pretend my feelings are nothing. I just want him to feel my hurt. He told me I'm something new. 
But I just keep on missing those late nights we were kissing. Everything was so simple. And you would lay your head down. My music was your best sound, and everything would be alright. I just wanna go back to how it was. I just wanna go back and fall in love. And looking back, and you know we can't change the past, but I wanna make something that lasts. Every day I'm gonna find a way. I know your love can't wait for me. Don't you know you gotta look both ways before you cross the street? Always look hey, before you leave. Maybe take a look. One day I had to get up, get sick. I'm just so bugged, y'all. It's okay, Mom. Dad's here. I just saw him out in the audience. Oh, good. Show me, sugar. I can't show you, Mom. Trust me, he's there. Yeah, where's Avery? She's waiting for her turn to perform. Is she singing or, or acting or dancing? I just can't believe I'm missing this. It's okay, Mom. You're right here with us. <laughs> well, you know, it's just not the same, is it? That darn doctor telling me I'm contagious. I mean, what does he know? Pepper! Pop down there, Pepper! Take you out later. <coughs> anyway, I think you should just prop me up on that chair right over there, and then maybe I can see everything. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> All right, I gotta go, Mom. <coughs> I heard you! <coughs> the size in this room is just covered by humor. Yeah, all of our mistakes are just jokes made. And you can't trust any of us, cause we'll turn around and show you that we're fake. There's jealousy in all of our eyes. Yeah, we're jealous of your head, closed face, and even your lives. Now you know what's really the truth. Do you wanna join the group? Whoa! I'm a spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth tend upon my state. And I do love thee, therefore go with me. Hey, don't be nervous. You're a natural. <sighs> natural loser. Why would you say that? Who am I kidding? I talk a good game and I can fool just about everyone, but, but to be honest, I have the most deep-rooted case of stage fright. I'm literally terrified to my core right now. I had no idea. No one does, except Mr. Oliver. I'm just trying to learn all I can here, so maybe one day I can be a great teacher. Someday. That's seriously epic. <laughs> epic? As in you learning everything, studying so much. You, Audrey Snow, are anything but a loser. You're inspiring. You're gonna be great, and I am your biggest fan. <laughs> Therefore, go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing while thou on pressed flowers dost sleep. It shall be called Bottom's Dream because it hath no bottom. And I will sing it in the latter end of a play before the Duke, peradventure 
to make it the more gracious. I shall sing it at her death. Now I but tried, but I should use thee worst. If thou hast slain Lysander in his sleep, or shoes in blood plunge in the deep, then kill me too. The sun was not so true unto the day. As he to me, would he have stolen away from sleeping Hermia? I am, my lord, as well derived as he, as well possessed. My love is more than his. My fortune's every way as fairly ranked, if not a vantage, as Demetrius. With more than all of these boasts, I am beloved. To her, my lord, was I betrothed ere I saw Hermia. But like in sickness did I loathe this food. But as in health come to my natural taste, now I do wish it, love it, long for it, and will evermore be true to it. Oh, I am out of breath in this fond chase. The more my prayer, the lesser is my grace. Happy is Hermia, wheresoe'er she lies, for she has blessed and attractive eyes. How came her eyes so bright? not with salt tears. If so, my eyes are oftener washed than hers. Over hill, over dale, through a bush, through a bear, over park, over pale, through a flood, through a fire, I do wander everywhere, swifter than the moon's fear, and I serve the fairy queen to do her orbs upon the green. Trust me, sweet. Out of the silence, yet I picked a welcome. And in the modesty of fearful duty, I read as much from the rattling tongue of saucy and audacious eloquence. Love, therefore, and tongue-tied simplicity, in least, speak most to my capacity. Those be rubies, fairy favors, and those freckles live their saviors. I must not see some dew drops here, and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear. Farewell, thou love of spirits, I'll be gone. Our queen and all our elves come here anon. Good night to you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends. You got this, girl. I'm going back to watch from the audience. It's good to see you, Mia. Thanks, Rinky. Anna Sophia made it. She's in the audience with mom. It's great. I don't know what to say anymore, except I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being jealous of you and Avery. I'm sorry for listening to Cassidy. I'm sorry for everything. I'm not the one you hurt, Mia. I know. I talked to Avery. You did? I did. That must have been hard. It's what I had to do. I'm proud of you. Thanks. For old time's sake. <laughs> Always. <laughs>
so bad now was it <laughs> I'm just kidding of course let's give all of our performers another round of applause <laughs> while our Miss Hughes figures out the scholarship winners we have a little surprise please welcome to the stage the younger sister of our very own Nikki and a future VPA star Miss Natalie Johnson Have you made your decisions? Yes, our decisions are finalized. I have here in my hand the names of the three winners. What? What are you talking about? 
Excuse me? One boy and one girl from the three categories in the performing arts. Voice, dance, drama. You clearly did not get my very explicit email. Well, now, uh, this is an awkward moment, and uh, if I did screw it up, at least it benefits the students. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Oh, isn't this interesting? I, I guess that works, but... Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, here we go. In the category of acting, the winners are Alex Waller and Audrey Snow. <laughs> Our next two awardees are from the singing class. Congratulations to Charlie Roberts and Summer Snyder. <laughs> and finally, the scholarships for dance are being given to, are we sure here? Alrighty then. And finally, the Dance Award scholarships go to Rocky Frank and Mackie Castillo. Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as much as we're very excited for these six on the stage, Miss Julia Hughes herself has another announcement. Congratulations. After watching the performances today, I was quite literally astonished at the level of talent at your meager school. I'm announcing something unprecedented in the history of the prestigious Triad Conservatory of Fine Arts. Today, we are awarding two additional full summer scholarships for students that we feel are triple threats. Now, not only do these two have absolutely stellar academic transcripts, but they have the talent to match in all three categories. So without any further ado, Principal, you may do the honors. I can't believe this is happening. The triple threat scholarships go to James Grant, and Avery Adams. This is certainly a history-making day for Valley Performing Arts. Let's celebrate all the winners. Congratulations.
Trash can people. What are you doing here? School's out. Go on. Go outside. Go play. Get off your phones. Go jump in a pool or something. <laughs> 